Uh, what's going on guys? Welcome to the set. My name is CJ. This is CJ's first cooking show. Behind this camera is Nate. Right over here is Ethan. Yeah, let me go ahead and let you in on a little something before you get too far down the rabbit hole with us. On this show, we like to cook. Ooh, and we quote. If that's gonna irritate you, you probably should just keep watching and then leave a mean comment. <laughs> kind of sparks my gonna... joy a little bit. But speaking of that, be sure to like and subscribe as we move on, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm gonna show you a special little treat that I have actually never had before, and I was introduced to it when I went on a little adventure. Wait, but you had it there. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it because I ordered the pork tacos. Scott, he ordered Disneyland's famous buffalo chicken grilled cheese. I believe it's Disney World because we're in Florida. That too. I appreciate the correction. You know what? I'm here for you. Everyone knows it. Sure. Let us know in the comments. Let's go to Disney. I'm going to Disneyland. So come on, everyone, it's the day's first show. All right, as we get going here, the first thing is first, we've got to get to our protein. We've got some chicken cutlets. Now, uh, I think actually the way Disney does it is they kind of have um, like the rotisserie chickens and they, um, oh, just like fold they, they yeah, they use shredded chicken from, you know, like a whole, yeah, an entire chicken. But today, I don't have an entire chicken. I have a terrible oh, good Lord. version of chicken cutlets that I got from the grocery store. But you know what? It'll still cook the same. It'll still taste the same if I don't screw miserable. it up. They are definitely, they're, they're definitely they're miserable. Sad. But honestly, having a cutlet is fantastic. I say this all the time because they cook super quick. And that's kind of like my thing. Again, if you're new to watching this show or this channel, we cook, we quote, I find a lot of hacks, a fun way to take something that might be complicated and complicated it even more. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go right over here, guys. With this chicken cutlets, I actually did a little bit of olive oil and some of our essential blend to season this bad boy. Essentially. Uh, essentially, I used some essential blend. Yeah, that was good. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Here Wait, you I mean. Wait. No, it's gotta be your, your bowl. bowl. No. It's gotta be your bowl. Gotta keep cruising. Is All there right. a lot more to do? I mean, it's just a grilled cheese. It's just a grilled cheese? I'm saying grilled cheese is simple. You said there's a lot more to do. Well, there, okay, there's not a whole lot to do, but <laughs> there are some things to do. And that is going to first off be getting block of cheese. our block of cheese. Now, in a lot of sit situations, I like to use um, pre-shredded cheese. The reason I like to use pre-shredded cheese one. is because it's simple and quick and it's already done, but I really want some ooey, gooey cheese. So today I'm going to shred up some medium, it's, I was gonna say it's medium sharp, but it's not medium sharp. It's just medium cheddar. We got some medium <laughs> cheddar. I've got some Monterey Jack. We're gonna get that all shredded up, put into a bowl with this. Now this is a big part of this, which I did my searching. I started looking into things. Your research. It's important that you use whipped Philadelphia Quick. cream cheese. Why are you not saying just it that way? Saying what, what way? I am saying what, what way? Uh, I don't know why. I'll tell you why whenever we actually taste this and have it. I oh. have a feeling it just makes it texture. fluffier. It's gotta be texture. It's gotta be texture, right? So we're gonna add some of that whipped cream cheese into a bowl along with our two cheeses. We're gonna add about that much, Franks. I don't actually know how much I'm gonna do. We're gonna <laughs> see, that but that's, that's how much we're gonna do. And uh, our chicken has been flipped a couple times. It is definitely ready to be pulled off and cut up. I'm exhausted. All of that just mixed up like that. You say it like, so not cool. Whoa, sorry. I... Hello? The bell rang. Hello? 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 Anybody home? Hello, Hello. McFly. <laughs> Hello? I was doing So I Married an Axe Murderer. I was doing McFly. Yes! What were you doing, Ethan? Cheersing. Okay. This freaking guy. Another key ingredient in this specific it's Disney bread. land world. key ingredient world. In, a, in a grilled cheese sandwich is bread. Not just bread, guy. It's Not just bread. I'm, no, I'm serious, because it's a special bread. It's a special kind of bread. It was a compliment. Thank you. Sourdough bread. That is important <laughs> and a key part of you this. You thought I was being mean. Uh, thought? Leave it in the comments below. Was you Nate being thought mean? thought I was being mean. Dude, we all know that you're being oh, mean. Take it easy with that knife over there. Okay, sorry. As we've learned in past uh, episodes, 
I know how to work the Judy chop. Yep, I like a Judy chop. Most people butter their bread to toast it. It's important that we use Duke's mayo. I don't, it's it's kind of this tangy, crispy crust. You'll see, it, it crisps wonderfully. And uh, then we are headed over to our griddle top where I'm gonna throw these down. Does that sound like a good plan to you, Ethan? Ma mayo side down? Mayo side, no, I'm just gonna toast it mayo side up. It was, wasn't for me. 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I just figured she was a raging alcoholic. Now what I did off camera that I did not show is that I actually cleaned off some of the uh, chicken fat and residue that was left over there. I feel like I need to ring it and bring it because I okay. gotta get my head back in the game. Get back in the game, get back yeah. in the game, get back, back in the game. game. Back in the game, back in the game. And I'm back in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they uh, toasted both sides, but to be honest with you, I just, Dude, I feel- Crunch is king. Uh, crunch is king. Let's give this a flip. Add some cheese and start the melting process. The whipped version of the cream cheese. Dude. Dude, made the mixing process so much easier. Buffalo chicken whip. Yeah. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna, yeah. indoor plumbing, it's gonna be big. Indoor plumbing, it's gonna be big. Spread this out. You're not being shy. Look at that. No. Well, big. we want some chicken, man. Because chicken's good. Chicken. Good. Woo. I'm actually gonna kill the heat. Kill him. Okay, kill him. And I'm gonna slide these over just a little bit. All right. So we are still getting some residual heat, but we're not cranking and cruising. Now, it, you guys, do you see, you see that, 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 mm. that darkish area? Mm. Slightly over caramelized. Yeah, that too. Obviously. Obviously. All right. Chef CJ. We're going to come back in 60 seconds. I'm going to give this a flip. In the meantime, we're ringing and bringing. You know why they call them love bugs? Because they love to get in your drink? Yep. Yeah. Yup. We are <laughs> ready. Come on, boy. All right. And yes, Does this it look one, this good at Disney? This one. You know what, they aren't cooking on a Blackstone with a bunch of other cool stuff, so the bread actually looks perfect and flawless. What are you talking about? This? That looks perfect I'm, to I'm, me. Oh, dude, I'm just talking about like that discoloration. Oh, the variations. The, there the, we go, the see, I like that. I like that. Textural architecture. Textural architecture? <laughs> you made that up. I know. I was just trying to help. Thanks, I appreciate Welcome. that. Okay. All right, so here we go. That crunch, buddy. Ooh. Come on, come oh, on. Oh, layers. Wow. Layers of cheese and, okay. Oh, dude, look at that cheesy, cheesy, Good cheesiness. Lord, CJ. I know, I know. All right, let's plate this up. I take back every positive thing I've ever said about you. Wait, strike, strike that. that. Reverse it. Strike that, reverse it. Now check it out. Because it looks beautiful and because I love the flavor, you, because I think dude. it needs it. Let's do a little bit of post us right. with our essential blend. So we're gonna get those really nice granules and you'll get that in every little bite and it looks beautiful. All right, there we go. Done. The Disneyland, Disney World, buffalo chicken grilled cheese. It's ooey gooey, You didn't it's have perfect. to wait in line. And you, you didn't did have not, to ride the tram. You did not have to wait in line Board for an hour and a half to go see Rise of the Resistance it. like me and Scott did. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of time went by because we had to get our photos for the gram. Uh, but this is crispy. There's the season, the post dust. Is a must. I'll let you know if it's All a right. must. Here we go. Is it ever not a must? Dang the crunch though. You did. Well, two by CJ. Why have I not been making my grilled <laughs> cheese with buffalo chicken stuffed inside like this it's before? Is that good? It's that, that's that's the magic? It looks and smells amazing. Dude, it's perfect. And the post us, huh. <laughs> the way you, <laughs> no. yeah. Definitely you a know, must. You know. um, this is amazing. Buffalo chicken with the whipped, the actually the whipped Cream, it's pretty legendary with this. Makes it real airy and fluffy. Incredible, leave it in the comments. Speaking of comments, guys, it's that time of Ooh. the show. Is it? It is. We it's time it. for CJ's favorite, Comments of the Week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the segment of the show. <laughs> Where I have procured a platform. Procured, I dig it. A platform for you, the viewers, where in the moments where you decide to express yourself, voice, their voice opinions. your opinions, good or bad, I screenshot them 
And if you write it, we read it. That is how this game goes. So, starting in no particular order, from the top. And the top happens to be a fun one. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Lewis Todd says, too much BS. Just cook, CJ. Reader's Digest version, please. We're cooking on a Blackstone. How come are there too much Blackstone? See what you did there. You see what I did there? Oh. So I went ahead and gave him the Reader's Digest version on his comment, and I said, um, you got it, dude. Number one, buy rice, chicken, eggs, mix veggies and sausage. Number two, cook chicken and chop it. Number three, cook rice. Four, cook eggs and mix it with the rice. Five, cook veggies and add them to the rice and eggs. Six, season everything. Seven, ring it and bring it. Eight, watch the full episode. Jeez, you need a subscription. His response, thanks. Mm. Mm. He gave you the Reader's Digest appreciation. <laughs> That's right. So there you go, Lewis. Todd. Lewis. Feeling good, Lewis. Yeah! <laughs> I was, I was feeling good, Lewis. Oh, this is great. It couldn't be more perfect. I literally just screenshot these in, as, as they come along. And uh, Melissa Pelletier says, CJ, my husband just got a Blackstone about a month ago and we stumbled onto your YouTube channel looking for great recipes. We are now addicted to your show and come home from wow. work every night to watch endless episodes until we pass out, LOL. Wow. Keep up the amazing work. We love it. All right. Melissa. Thank you for that beautiful comment. Yeah, I mean, there's two other people here, but it's fine. Nah, dude. Welcome to the Blackstone family, and welcome officially to CJ's first cooking show. Yeah, Ethan. All right, this is a fun one as well. This comes from Steve Apple. Apple. Steve Apple. Steve Apple. Steve Apple. Steve Apple. Uh, this is on my show that he comments. Nate. I said my chicken sandwich. Oh, this is like him saying Nate Wait, as you. Wait, he's commenting about, oh. Okay. He's like saying as Nate. Okay. I said my chicken sandwich was better, and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for CJ and his meddling friends. Nice. And I would have got away with it too if it hadn't been for you snooping kid. Thank you, Steve. Slightly Cheers. inaccurate, but you know. <laughs> the first episode I watched was the live taco salad. I've been watching and trying a few recipes since. Uh, Love the, the first show. One? Love the show. Yeah, that was his first one was our uh, live. Sorry. I'm a late 80s and 90s kid, 99s kid myself, so I love all the quotes. Your show is fun. Keep up the good work. My man, Nick, well, why don't you just tickle Welcome me pink? To the table. I'm happy that you're here. Hey, speaking of peach. <laughs> it just got me. Well... Pink Floyd was the first rock band to pioneer live surround sound during concerts. So they had Richard Wright use little joysticks to move the sound around the auditorium. And in 1962, uh, they changed, changed it so that they could do it around the whole thing. Wow. Yeah. Did you remember that all on your own? Speaking or did you of, happen to have speaking of peach. A, a, oh, oh, it was called a post-it note. Azmuth coordinator. Quadraphonic sound system. He can't know everything, CJ, like statistics and band names and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Peach Floyd. All, all right, you know what? Cheers. Okay. Here we go. Peach <laughs> Floyd and Brown Day. Do you have the time to listen to me whine? <laughs> all right, sorry, I still got some tears in my eyes from that one. Um, Jack Southwick says, had to stop watching halfway through. Your cutaway edits are so annoying, it makes the video unwatchable. Mm. I am Jack's lack of surprise. Oh. I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. I don't know what to say, except the guy he's who edits. He's not watching. The guy, uh, yeah, he's not watching. The guy who edits this video is probably going to be really hurt when he finds out that you don't like his show or the edit mm. of his show. Mm. I would never let go, Jack. Okay, this last one is like a, a double, a double entendre. Double whammy. A double whammy. Whammy! Whammy! Zeb says, Zeb Al Algood uh, says, "We don't think you guys are fake. You're fun. My wife and I look forward to watching your videos. It's always a good laugh." True. Now I know what you're asking True. yourself. Like, what is the True. fake thing in reference to? Well, on one of the episodes, somebody said that they don't like watching it because we look so fake. Uh, then still somebody don't says, that. "Then Thomas uh, Dildine." says <laughs> sorry <laughs> thomas says what is fake about it is that you get your movie quotes clips first then found places to fit them in dang if only we were that 
Organized, collected, or professional. Yeah, dude. These are all on the fly. So I don't normally get upset. When people like hate on me, it's fine. Whatever, it's really funny. But I'll have you know, Thomas, Dildine. Tommy. Uh, this is all real. These are all on the fly. We do not plan our comments Ever. or our quotes. No. Uh, stuff like that just has to happen. So to you, Thomas, I'm ringing it to authenticity. He probably likes the white hot chili peppers. It was a good one too. <laughs> uh, we are wrapping up. And going? today I get to wrap up with uh, someone who sent us some goods and whoa, some stickers whoa. to be put on the OG board. Uh, be sure to go to BlackstoneProducts.com for this. This. Desert. 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 This recipe and a ton of others. Also go to GriddleNation.com. You can get sweet shirts like this, some stickers, some various things that we got going on. Uh, check out all the other shows, but this, my friends, is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. And we will see you on the next episode. I thought you could do it like all Destination Delicious style. See, see you on the down road. The ro down the road. Down, down the road. Did you notice in that last episode what she said? Yeah, she had a movie quote. No, Peeling at the back. end. Oh, wait, what? She said she we, that Spencer's dish was so delicious, so good, that she needs to cook with CJ more. That one? That was terrible! Was awesome. That, this right. looks absolutely amazing. I think you need to cook with CJ more often. <laughs> That's well, messed up. What about me? Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's even better! She subconsciously knew what was right. Scout!